Apple now sells eight different iPhone models that date back a few years. While there's no such thing as a true best iPhone, depending on your needs, budget, and preferences, some iPhone models are definitely better for you than others. With the addition of the iPhone 14 series and the discontinued iPhone 11, 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max walking off into the sunset, finding the right one can feel overwhelming or even confusing. In terms of prices, the current iPhone lineup starts as low as $429 for the iPhone SE 3 and tops off at $1,599 for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Whether it's the tiny iPhone 13 mini and its 5.4-inch screen or the iPhone 12, you actually have a lot of options to choose for your perfect phone. Navigating Apple's iPhone spectrum can be overwhelming. Whether you're considering colors, the iPhone 13 comes in 6, or features like the iPhone 14 Pro's Dynamic Island, which expands and contracts to show system alerts. Then there are the cameras. The iPhone typically has some of the best cameras found on any phone, but the iPhone SE has just one on the back. The 12, 13, 13 mini, 14 and 14 plus each have dual rear cameras. And then there's the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max that not only have a trio of cameras, but come with features like the ability to take Pro Raw photos or record ProRes videos. Our first top pick is the iPhone 13 mini. The iPhone 13 mini is not just small, but downright petite. Most people should be able to palm the entire device and reach all four corners of the screen with their thumb easily. Don't be fooled by its dainty build, however. The iPhone 13 mini still packs the same punch as the iPhone 13, so you're still getting a 5nm powerful SoC, very good main and ultra-wide cameras, as well as aluminum railings and ceramic shield protection for the display glass panel. The camera system is identical to the iPhone 13, so this means you have a very capable dual camera setup. Switch seamlessly between wide and ultra-wide cameras mid-filming, or point and shoot anywhere, even against harsh backlight, and get a properly exposed shot. Overall, it's still a solid option if you want something a little smaller. Of course, if you want the absolute cheapest iPhone possible that's not used or several years old, the iPhone SE 3 is the only sub $430 iPhone around. It may lack the flashier all-screen design of the other iPhones listed here, but it comes in a petite size. And in this age of constant mask wearing, having Touch ID instead of Face ID may actually be appealing to consumers. In fact, there are people who would actually very strongly prefer the familiar Touch ID and home button setup. And for them, the iPhone SE 3 is the only real option left. With this model, you're still getting the Apple A15 Bionic, 5G support, IP67 water and dust resistance, rare for a sub $500 price, and a good single camera with OIS. As usual, video recording is a strong point with this device. And this is one of the cheapest iPhones that you can officially buy right now that'll receive the longest software support. And lastly, if you want the best possible iPhone right now, then the iPhone 14 is just where it's at. Next, we'd like to run some video and gaming on each one of these phones, so you can see them in action starting with the iPhone 13 mini. So let's run it.
take the oath. I promise to do everything in my power to protect this city. I promise. Guys, I wanted to thank you. Both of you. You need to lay low. Don't trust anybody and don't take off that mask. This message is from Rockstar. The underground will stop it. They need you. Miles, what's the underground doing? They're at the new form. Take her! Stop! I gotta say, I'm disappointed, but Krieger. You think you can beat the ticket? Roxo, you can't. Every time I think I got this Spider-Man thing figured out, something goes wrong. Miles, our family doesn't give up. Whenever you say Spider-Man, you always mean the other one. You're Spider-Man. You can fix this. Your way.